Just a few weeks after Elon Musk shared an image of the Shiba Inu dog, a meme that inspired the creation of the cryptocurrency, clad in a space suit and standing on the lunar surface holding a flag, the price of the cryptocurrency had indeed started to show some signs that it's ready to hit the moon. Currently trading at around 5.8 cents and having a 1.93% increase in the last 24 hours, but what do you know? Dogecoin might just be on its way to kickstart the much-anticipated bull season ahead of its pairs and predecessors and get past the $1 mark in no time. Or maybe not. Stick around if you want to learn more about Dogecoin as we enter the bull season proper, its price prediction after the impending bull run, and much more. Hello once again and welcome to Crypto Lion, where we entertain and update you on all types of cryptocurrency-related news. We try to aid you to better understand cryptocurrencies as we guide you towards the best ways to channel your funds and make more with cryptocurrencies. This is whether you're new to cryptocurrencies or an investor already, whether you need to know when to hodl on the short term or looking for reasons to hold on through the big dips and swings. Today we're going to be taking another look at Elon Musk's Dogecoin story, as I emphasize more on what I think could possibly happen if Elon's wishes are finally granted, and Dogecoin gets added to Coinbase and much more. As always, don't forget to look through the description section for some useful links. Today I'm leaving off a special link for our viewers to sign up on Binance and get a lifetime discount of 5% on trading fees when they sign up via the link in the description. There's usually also a lot of other important links in the description box, so always check it out so you don't miss out. If you're here for the first time and you want to stay up to date with everything to do with Dogecoin, cryptocurrencies and stocks, I highly recommend you guys scroll down and tap the red subscription button, and while you're there, also go ahead and slap a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated and would really help us out. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell as well for the best daily technical analysis and crypto videos. Dogecoin is making some moves right now. We predict past $1.3 to almost $1.4, a price range that I think would form the support line for Dogecoin going forward. Also, Ethereum looks like it might be about to spike. I'm going to be getting into some of that, why I think Ethereum might be the next one that we see make some major news. Bitcoin is slowly retracing back since it hit its most recent all-time high of $61,000 five days ago, to its current position of about $58,000. So we might actually be seeing 60,000 or above support level for that one, as Bitcoin continues to gain mainstream adoption from not just regular traders, but also from institutional investors. So many incredible things happening in the cryptocurrency world. Also, we got Robinhood, and the question out there is, are they going to potentially try to stop the spike? As I'm going to be reporting some very troubling news about Robinhood in a moment. Right now, it's really hard to tell exactly what's going to happen with that, because the truth is, Literally anything can be going on in Robinhood's minds right now. We haven't seen any major actions or purchases from Robinhood that have been happening recently. For those of you who are yet to be familiar with the term Robinhood, well, Robinhood is the world's biggest Dogecoin holder, believed to be owned by Robinhood Markets, a cryptocurrency exchange platform that controls nearly 29% of the entire Dogecoin in circulation. Robinhood became a subject of attention after Tesla and SpaceX chief executive officer Elon Musk tweeted, and I quote, too much concentration is the cryptocurrency's only real issue before saying he'd pay the biggest holders to void their accounts. So we've not yet seen any major purchases from the big Dogecoin wallet, and you would think, would they be purchasing? Here's the problem though. First of all, we've been seeing Robinhood do some things that we really don't like. Let's go and take a look at the big Dogecoin. Have they been buying? Because this could be very concerning. Imagine this, if Robinhood isn't able to get in on time, they're going to try to stop the spike. I'm obviously concerned about that, as I think we all should be. So there are no big purchases from the big Dogecoin wallet, and we think this is Robinhood. Therefore, if it is, then it means that Robinhood potentially is going to be very much upsetting us, if they decide to stop the spike. Robinhood have been doing some pretty shady stuff, and people have been reporting about it on Twitter. Take a look at this, some people are already saying that Robinhood is trying to stop it. Already now, they've done quite a very good job trying to stop Cardano, and have made some moves on Ethereum two cryptocurrencies right there that could be about to do some incredible things. So some people are saying that they were trying to buy Dogecoin on Robinhood, but actually got stopped. And we've seen that the biggest Dogecoin wallet has not bought a massive amount of Dogecoin recently, which means if the Dogecoin spike continues, either we're going to see Robinhood make a huge purchase through their wallet, or they're going to try to stop the spike in the price of Dogecoin. It seems like either one of these or both of these is going to happen. 
There's also been some really big news that has been coming out recently with the government of France and the U.S. auctioning off some amount of Bitcoin. So let's take a look at this one right here. U.S. government auctions off Bitcoin at a 21% premium. Now, the U.S. General Services Administration has auctioned off 0.7501 Bitcoin, raking in more than $53,000 from the sale. And according to a recent article by the Washington Post, the U.S. General Services Administration has successfully concluded an auction for Bitcoin, the agency's first such sale. After a frantic battle among the bidders, the lot was eventually purchased for $53,104, about 21% higher than the actual market value of the cryptocurrency, which was retailing at approximately $55,400 at the time the bidding was closed. Over the course of the sale, which commenced on Monday, bidders repeatedly upped the stakes, with the winner reportedly raising the top bid by more than $8,000. This was disclosed by an agency official in an interview conducted by Washington Post, who further added that, and I quote, Auctioning off this share of cryptocurrency broke new ground for our GSA auctions platform, and we're extremely pleased by the enthusiasm we've seen from our bidders. Also, the French government auctioned off 28 million euros worth of confiscated Bitcoin. The French government is set to auction off on Wednesday millions of euros worth of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin that were seized from hackers in 2019. The auction, being held on behalf of the French Agency for the Recovery and Management of Seized and Confiscated Assets, is the first of its kind in France. The tokens were seized from individuals linked to the GitHub trading platform hack. They will be divided into two sales. The first consists of 437 lots of between 0.11 and 2 bitcoins, and the second 41 lots of between 5 and 20 bitcoins. And this auction was expected to raise around 28 million euros. As the biggest Dogecoin holder, though, Robinhood could single-handedly influence and skyrocket or thwart the price of Dogecoin. And this is one of the pros and cons with having an actively trading whale on any cryptocurrency asset. Unlike in the case of Bitcoin, where the largest holder does not actively get involved in trading the number one cryptocurrency in the world. Robinhood was seen to be carrying out intermittent scheduled maintenance sometime last week. So they've been doing stuff like this during Dogecoin spikes. Basically trying to slow it down a little bit so they can maybe get a good entry point. Maybe trying to do some buys or something along those lines. Or maybe they're thinking it's going to go down a bit before it gets ready to pursue the $1 mark. It's hard to tell at this moment, but hopefully Robinhood wouldn't stop it and Dogecoin would continue to go up. Well, here we are again at the end of today's video. And once again, this is cryptocurrency forecasting. So always keep in mind that these predictions are based off of personal opinion. The content we upload here is mainly for informational and entertainment purposes only. I'm not a licensed broker or financial planner. All financial decisions made by the viewer should be done after talking with a licensed professional. Everything on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. Also, don't invest more than you're willing to lose. This video content may change over time or become outdated or invalid. The cryptocurrency world moves pretty quick, even quicker than the time we record and upload. Once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button and let's see if we can get this video up to a thousand likes. Don't forget to turn on post notifications by tapping on the notification bell icon to watch more interesting videos from CryptoLion. Last but not least, if you got any questions or suggestions, please drop them down in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Good luck and happy investing. Thank you.